Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Rainbow Tower UK. I'm Nev. Um, if you're new, then it's great to have you here for our pick card readings. Um, and if you are a returning viewer, then thank you so much for coming back and having another pick card reading with me. So today's reading is, you know, you and your person, your romantic person, uh, three months from now. Where will you be three months from now? So just to remind you, it is a general reading. So just take, you know, just take what resonates, take what feels right. If it doesn't feel right, then it might be a message for somebody else. Um, and it is timeless, so it's absolutely good for whenever you're finding it. But let's get straight to our three piles. See you soon. Okay, guys, so these are our three groups for our reading today. And I must say they're all looking uh, lovely. Piles, three very positive piles. So the first one is uh, Love, which is a beautiful card. Uh, card number 30 with the unikite or unikite crystal here so that's power number one power number two is happiness card number 15 there you go with the beautiful rose quartz crystal here i don't know if you can see the pick up the pink there it's very pale but it's absolutely beautiful and then power number two is tranquility card number 43 uh, with the lapis lazuli here. So those are our three piles. So as I say, just take a moment, use your intuition, go for the card or the pile that feels right for you. Uh, if there's more than one pile, it's absolutely fine. Uh, just to remind you again, you know, as I said before, it's a general reading. So just take the messages that feel right to you and feel free to, to get rid of anything that doesn't feel right for you. It might be for somebody else listening to the reading. Um, and so, yeah, so other than that, I'll see you in your reading. Bye for now. Hey car number one and welcome to your pick a card reading. Today's reading is, isn't it, you know, you and them, you and your romantic person, three months from now, where where will you be? What will be what will have happened? Where will you be in the connection? So you chose to come into the reading under uh, this very positive card which has the word love on it, and it is card number 30, which of course cancels down to three. So that is our first card, and also the little unikite or unikite crystal here. And I'm just gonna put that there. So I also pre-shuffled some oracle cards. So let's take a look at those. Um, I hope everyone is really well. I hope you're happy, you're healthy, that you are in a good place. Because uh, to me, that's the most important thing, really, that we can have in life, health and happiness. But let's get straight to our reading. Let's see what oracle cards you have here. So you have number five, which is Offer Up Gratitude, which is this beautiful little lotus flower here. That's a gorgeous card, isn't it? Offer Up Gratitude. Um, we also have, wow, you've also got card number 31, Divine Love. So 30, 31. Um, so there might be a sequence of events uh, in this situation in the next three months, you know, things happening one after the other. Divine love, though, again. So you've got love twice. My goodness. So I definitely think we can definitely feel that there's, this is going to be, there's going to be love in this situation one way or another. It's going to be, um, you know, it feels to me like it's going to be... It just has a real, really sort of spirit. All these cards have a very sort of strong spiritual feel, don't they? Um, maybe you've got a strong spiritual connection with your person. Um, I feel like you're both going to be grateful for each other, both going to be thankful for each other, both going to be um, maybe mindful of how lucky you are for having each other or having each other in, in, in your life or something like that. It just has a, a sort of a very... Um, yeah, it's a kind of very, it feels very relaxed as well. So I feel like this connection is going to be in a very relaxed place. And um, it's reminding me of meditation. Um, and when we meditate, you know, often we, it helps us to feel relaxed. It helps us to feel calm. So I feel like the connection is going to be calmer, more relaxed, maybe. This is a crystal card. And this is the crystal kyanite. I don't know if you can see it there, kyanite. And on the back it says, the key words are truth, communication and clarity. And it says, speak your truth. Kyanite cuts through confusion, fears and negativity and connects you to your most authentic self. Soothing the soul. 
Okay, so it also relates to Aries, Taurus and Libra, which might mean something to you. So maybe there's going to be some truth in this situation. There's going to be some communication that's going to enable it to feel more loving, to feel more connected, for you to feel stronger in the connection, spiritually more connected, more relaxed. But it might mean that you need, there needs to be better communication, or there needs to be more truth or more clarity. So maybe... Um, in the three months in sequence, if you like, it's going to be going through a period maybe of, um, yeah, communicating better, getting rid of negativity, releasing stuff so that you can move to a more loving situation, something like that. Uh, that could be what's going on, but let's, first of all, let's just see where, you, and it's a good way to check as well if this is the right path for you. Let, let's just have a bit of an energy check in with where you are the moment with this particular person uh, you know what is the situation in the connection so you know what is the energy the current energy is between car number one and their person thank you very much if you've subscribed if you've given me the thumbs up if you've commented so 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 lovely to have all the comments and to receive that and it's such a lovely thing to have um it just takes a couple of seconds and it just means a lot to me in the channel so if you feel like you want to do that then please do Let's see, what is the current situation between pearl number one and their person right now? Queen of Wands. Okay. What's the current situation between pearl number one and their person? Hierophant. Okay. What is the current situation between pearl number one and their person? Eight of Swords. And the King of Swords. Okay. And the overarching energy is the magician. Right, so I feel like at the moment, this connection... Um, there's definitely a lot of attraction in this connection. So there's definitely a lot of heat, a lot of fire, a lot of chemistry. So the Queen of Wands, Wands is all about um, you know, fire, chemistry, passion, attraction... Um, so I feel like there's a lot of that going on. But somewhere in this connection is also commitment. So it could be that you're already in a committed situation with this person or there's some sort of commitment in this situation. Now, it could be a third-party situation you're involved in because I did think of that with a three. got a lot of threes here. And threes can be sort of third-party scenarios. So it could be a third-party situation where somebody, one of you or both of you, are in a committed situation because there's also an element of stuckness feeling trapped, feeling stuck in some way, because that is the Eight of Swords, and maybe a little bit of distance or detachment. So it might be that you're in a committed situation and you've come into separation, for example, or it could be that you were uh, in a third-party situation and that situation has also come into separation because there is a committed situation around it, but there's still this kind of like um, attraction, this passion, this um, magnetism that exists between the two of you. Um, but there is, I do feel that there is, or it could be actually, that at the moment it's a little bit mixed for you and them. So it could be that on the one hand it feels like you and them have this great connection and maybe you think about commitment or they think about commitment. You might have even spoken about commitment with the Hierophant here. Um, but on the other hand it um, can be a little bit detached or a little bit cool. So you might be in a situation where there's mixed messages or you're not clear. And that could be why you've got Kyanite. Uh, going forward in the sense that truth and communication and clarity are key so it could be that you know it's a bit confusing or whatever at the moment or it's not clear or it's stuck in some way because there maybe are uh, barriers or blocks or issues to it maybe moving forward now the overarching energy is the magician which is to bring something into being so it could be as well that this is um you know, like a crush or something like that, where there's this huge amount of attraction, they feel like there's a bit of a um, a potential for it to go further. They want to create it, because the magician is a, is the manifesto of the deck, really, the main manifesto of the deck, the one that wants to create something. So there's a, there's a, there's a, and it's also sort of like the beginning of something. So I feel like the overarching energy is that this situation, for some of you, um, could could be in separation and there's a feeling of wanting to begin it again so you're in separation or you've not quite got it together for whatever reason but you're in it in it you know you're you're 
you know, there's there's a chance for it to manifest, that you're at the beginning stages where you want it to kind of manifest or it wants to kind of begin again. And maybe there's the possibility of commitment or something like that. But there's definitely a coolness as well to it. So it could be that there's mixed messages or there is a sort of coolness and distance there because you've come into separation from them. And the, the key is kind of communicating, uh, you know, communicating better, really. So that is kind of where I see you at at the moment. Um, there might be a lot of thinking going on in the situation with this person in the library doing the writing, um, a lot of study. There might be a lot of study going on around the connection or um, maybe a lot of reflection, something like that. Um, but somebody's definitely feeling stuck or trapped in some way, not able to make a move. Maybe there's a coolness, a distance. But again, the King of Swords is all about strategy and planning. So I feel like with a Hierophant and this girl, young woman studying in the library, maybe there just needs to be a lot of thought and reflection, or maybe there's a lot of thought and reflection going on about this connection. If you're in separation, for example, ways, plans, strategies about how to manifest it. Yeah, so it could be something like that. So that's kind of what I'm feeling. If it doesn't feel like your situation, you might want to just do another pile. But in terms of astrological signs, I mean, the Queen of Wands could be any of the um, fire signs of Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. The Hierophant is Taurus. Eight of Swords is uh, Gemini, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. So those are just some of the astrological signs I'm seeing of where the situation is at at the moment. So let's see, you know, where's it going to be in three months? Let's ask. Where is pile number one and their person going to be in three months? Where are they going to be in three months, please? Where is pile number three and their person going to be in three months? So we've got the two of wands. We've got the two of pentacles. Where are they going to be in three months, please? We've got the four of pentacles. We've got the Ace of Wands, we've got the, the Three of Cups, okay, and then the overarching energy is the Four of Wands, okay. So it's funny, isn't it, um, because I sort of said I thought at the beginning that things would happen in sequence, and this is kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, there's a sort of sequence to it. So I think really in three months it is going to be, um, so if there's a period of waiting at the moment or a period of weighing things up, and that's kind of what I'm feeling with the Hierophant and the King of Swords, there might be some planning, some reflection, something going on if you're in separation or something like that. The Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles is about weighing things up and making choices. So I feel like there might be a bit of to and fro in at the beginning of that three month period still. A bit of a lack of certainty, um, maybe um, some, maybe somebody you know wanting to hold on to old patterns or old ways of doing things or old connections because of a sense of you know maybe a false sense of safety or security or something like that because that is the four of pentacles um, and it comes right under the eight of swords so. I feel like the situation might be stuck, for example, because somebody's not willing to see how it needs to move forward in some way. And I feel like that's going to go on for a little bit longer. But then I think there will be a new beginning for this situation. Wherever you are in this situation, it goes to the magician. There will be a new start for it because you have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning, a passionate new start um to this like spark again so i feel like for many of you, you might be in separation from this person or you, the situation is something that hasn't quite uh come into being because maybe there are blocks or fears this person i feel like this person might have some fears or some blocks around this connection they may be a bit detached from it uh, there may be some worries for them around it and they're spending a lot of time still in the next month or so deliberating and weighing it and weighing it all up um <clears throat> and maybe trying to make a choice or decision. So again, if it was a three-way situation, it might be that they're trying to hang on to something um, that's probably not right for them, really. It makes them feel stuck. But they're still trying to sort of hang on to that situation in some way. But I feel that that will end. And it's funny, in sequence, I feel like 
it will happen, you know, for the next month or so, it'll be a bit stuck still. And then, you know, towards the end of the three month period, it will begin, the situation will begin again, and there will be love in the situation. And it will feel, you'll feel very thankful for that. I think both of you will feel very thankful for that because you've got the Ace of Wands here, like I said, which is like a new beginning, a brand new beginning, a passionate new beginning. A, it goes with the Magician card, which is the overarching energy here of wanting to start something, of wanting to begin something. But it won't, you know, that there's still a little bit of time of um, things not being clear or things having to be sorted out or choices that need to be made. But I would say towards the end of the three month period, there is a passionate new beginning because the overarching energy is the four of wands, which is the card of, you know, it goes with the three of cups as well, but it is a card of celebration. It's a card, it's, you know, it's the 11, 11 sign which is obviously, you know, that sort of twin flame energy, but it's also a card of celebration and you will feel happier and it goes with all of these cards. So you might go through a bit of a, and you might already be in that, a bit of an uncertain time, um, a bit of a bit of stuckness in the connection, maybe some distance, some detachment. Maybe there's a lot of uncertainty initially uh, where choices need to be made or your person is on an R and whatever maybe being a bit stubborn, that kind of thing, hanging on to things that they, you know, they are not any good for them anymore. And then um, I think there will be a new beginning, a new start, a new cycle uh, that will happen for you, like I say, towards the end of the three months, where you end up with this Four of Wands energy, which is, like I say, a card of celebration, a card of, often a card linked to a sort of soulful connection here. And I did say at the beginning, didn't I, I thought it was like a sort of divine connection, that there was a lot of... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that there was there was something um, sort of spiritual in the connection, really, or some sort of link or pull in the connection. And this is confirmed with the Four of Wands here. Now, the Four of Wands can sometimes mean marriage. It can sometimes mean commitment, because it is the obvious marriage card. Um, you also have the Three of Cups, which is... Um, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. It is a card of happiness. It can also indicate, like I said, a three-way situation. So maybe this was a three-way situation. Um, but I feel like maybe choices are having to be made here. But because you've got the overarching energy as the four of ones, I feel that that choice is you um, because you've also got the magician card. But it may mean that there's a little bit of stubborn energy at the moment or there's a build-up to that ultimate, you know, uh, coming together. There's a process, if you like. Yeah, there are things that need to be worked out um, studied plans that need to be made before you can get to that new, that kind of passionate new beginning. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. In terms of astrological signs, so again, sort of in it's, it's, it's sort of sequential. It's going to happen. It's going to there's going to be a sequence to it. It's going to be you know maybe this happens and that happens and this happens. So it's it's going to kind of build up along the three months if you like towards that ultimate goal of a new beginning, a happy new beginning where you maybe are, uh, both of you realise the importance of the connection, are thankful for the importance of the connection, but it needs to be, yeah, so well, that's probably why you've got the kind of, you know, there needs to be communication, there needs to be, I feel like all this two of wands and two of pentacles is this person gaining clarity of, in terms of working it out, because this has got truth, communication, clarity, you know, where both of you need to have good sort of conversations, good heart to hearts in terms of being able to get to that stage, really. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So um, in terms of astrological signs, I mean, the Two of Wands is Aries, Two of Pentacles is Capricorn, Four of Pentacles is also Capricorn, Ace of Wands, any of the fire signs of Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Uh, Three of Cups is Cancer, Four of Wands is um, Aries again. So let's see if we've got any of these cards for you. So where will power number one and their person be in three months? Where will they be in three months, please? What's this one say? Trust your intuition. So if you've got intuitive feelings about this connection, about where you're going to be in three uh, months, then trust that. Maybe there's something around it needing to transform with this big butterfly on the front here. Um, it says, it's time to stop seeking advice from others and go inside instead. You know what's best for your body, mind and spirit. Sit in meditation, walk in the woods, ask yourself what you need and listen. Tune into your inner guidance. So there's that one. So 
So where will they be in three months time, please? What's this one say? You are healing. So maybe there's some healing that needs to happen in this situation. Healing happens in seasons. It can't be rushed or forced to fit a schedule. And you hear some banging in the background. Sorry about that. I think that's my neighbour doing some work in their garden. <laughs> but anyway, pile number one, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two, and welcome back to your reading. So today, we are doing a reading, aren't we, on you and them, you and your romantic person, three months from now. Where will you be? So you chose to come in to the reading under this lovely card which is the happiness card, card number 15, and it is marjoram, uh, the herb marjoram, or marjoram. Um, so lovely, lovely positive cards come into this reading on. And one of five, of course, cancels down to six, and six is all about harmony, restored peace, calm, contentment, self-acceptance, love. You've also got this beautiful rose quartz here. It's also a symbol of love. Um, it's the colour of pink, green, the colour of the heart chakra. So let's put that there. So um, let's see what other oracle cards we've got here. I hope everyone is well. I hope you're happy and healthy. And you're, you know, you're doing really good. Um, that's the main thing. And I just want to say a big thank you if you have subscribed, liked, commented. It's so, so lovely to get all of that support. And if you feel that you do like the reading and you, you know, just want to take a couple of seconds to maybe give a thumbs up, or subscribe, then that will be very gratefully received. So thank you for that. But let's have a look at your oracle cards. We've got Ask for Help, card number 23, which cancels down to five. Five is all about challenge and change. Um, okay, so we've got card number 13, Awareness. Awareness, card here, and the moonlight here. Um, okay, and then this is a crystal, which is a crystal card, and it's called Cuprite. And the key words for Cuprite are generosity, security, and flow. Um, Cuprite encourages the practice of helping others without expectations. Um, it helps to release any blame and resistance that may be blocking you from taking responsibility for the decisions you make. Uh, okay, it also corresponds with the astrological sign of Aquarius, so you might that might mean something to you. Um, Cuprite attracts what we need to make it through challenging moments, increasing our life force and overall vitality. Uh, take the driver's seat, you're ready. So it could be that at the moment this connection is a little bit challenged or challenging with the awareness and the ask for help. So maybe at the moment... It is a difficult, um, in a bit of a difficult place. It might be with this moonlight card here. It might be a secret situation or something where, where it's hidden in some way or it's not, um, maybe you're not together with this person at the moment. Um, you could be in separation from them. Um, yeah, so let's just see anyway. Let's get, first of all, let's get a sense of, um, because this card, number 13, is reminding me of the death card in, Arrow and death card is all about change, transformation. Um, but it might be that the situation is going to change and transform over the next three months in some way. That the overall happiness card is your positive card here. But at the moment, maybe it's a situation in transition, a situation in separation, something like that. But let's have a look, let's find out actually. Let's get some cards on you know, where you are currently in the situation. So, where is card number two currently? in the situation. Apologies if you can hear a little bit of banging there. My neighbour seems to have chosen to uh, do some uh, DIY in the garden at the moment. So let's see, where is power number two and the person currently in the connection? Where are they currently? Knight Cups. Okay. Seven of Wands. Where is power number two and the person currently in the connection? Page of Cups, okay, and Strength, right, and the overall, uh, overarching energy is the Three of Wands, so I feel like there's definitely, um, you know, a sense of romance and love at the moment in the connection, because you've got the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, it might be a bit of a crush energy, 
So maybe it's a little bit of a crush energy because that can be the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is the crush energy of the deck, really, um, for some of you. Or it could be that it has gone through some challenges, going through some challenges or some difficulties. Um, but there's still a loving connection here because the Seven of Wands can be a card of challenge. Uh, but it's not challenges that can't be overcome. So maybe there are challenges currently in the situation, um, as I said, um, but it's not something that can't be overcome. And there's definitely, because it's kind of like flanked, if you like, by the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, there is still love and romance in this situation, a lot of love and romance in this situation. Maybe somebody, there was challenges or it's had, you've had some problems, maybe somebody wants to make some kind of an apology or something like that. Um, now, the overarching energy is the Three of Wands, which is a sort of card of waiting. It can be a card of waiting. It can be a card of unnecessary waiting. So it might be that this is that you are maybe had a little separation from this person or this situation is on pause and you're kind of waiting. It might be a little bit of no man's land or you're not really sure what's going to happen. Maybe it's at a bit of a crossroads. Uh, maybe you're feeling you need some guidance to become, you know, become more aware um, yeah, something like that. But there's definitely still a desire in this connection with the Knight of Cups that somebody is thinking that they want to come forward and still offer romance or offer love in this situation. Because you've got both the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, which are two very romantic uh, cards in the deck. Pisces energy with the Knight of Cups there. Um, and also the strength. So it feels like essentially the connection is a strong one. It's, again, the strength card is about overcoming challenges in a gentle way. So it makes me feel that maybe if there are challenges in this situation, maybe you're with someone, maybe you're actually in a connection with this person, and there's a lot of love in it, there's a lot of romance in it, there's a lot of um, a deep connection in it, but something like there might be a few little challenges or blocks or issues in the situation. Um, and, you know, but it's something that, you know, you both feel or your person feels that you can overcome. It's nothing major. Or they don't feel like it's anything major. It can be overcome. Um, but it might mean that there's a little bit of, um, yeah, there's a little bit of delay to the connection or there's a hold up in the connection or there's a bit of waiting in the connection or things are on pause at the moment. Or maybe it's a long distance connection. Maybe for some, for some of you it might be a long distance connection with these three of ones here because this person is looking out towards in into the distance so it might be and i'm just noticing the water behind the page of cups here so maybe it is a long distance connection for some of you um and that might be what's causing the challenges uh but it's definitely there's definitely a lot of feelings of love and romance in this connection there's a strong emotional connection uh, and maybe somebody wanting to take action so it could be that somebody wants to take action in this connection you might not be with them at all but they want to come towards you. They might feel there's a few challenges there, but they feel a strong pull towards you. Um, and the challenges that are there are something that they feel that they can overcome. But at the moment, uh, they haven't done it yet or something because it's on pause or it's or it's, it's they're kind of waiting to, to do that. Or then maybe they're waiting for the right time to do that or something like that. So it doesn't sound like your situation. You might be wanting to listen to another pile. Um, but in terms of astrological signs, like I said, the Knight of Cups is Pisces energy. Uh, Seven of Wands, that is um, Leo energy. Page of Cups could be any of the uh, water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And Strength card is Leo. And Three of Wands is Aries energy. So those are just some of the astrological signs that I am uh, seeing here. I mean, maybe with all the banging in the background, maybe this person is, is like, at the moment, they want to be heard or something like that. Um, awareness. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Let's actually just ask, shall we? Let's just ask, you know, where are you going to be now? Where is power number two and their person going to be in three months? Where are they going to be in three months' time, please? Where's Paul and Jean, their person, going to be in three months' time, please? Where are they going to be? Knight of Wands. Right under the Knight of Cups there. The Emperor. Five of Wands. Where are they going to be in three months' time? Where are they going to be in three months' time? Judgment. And then the overarching energy is the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like in three months' time, 
this uh, situation is going to be more, um, it's going to have transformed, it's going to be more settled definitely with the Emperor. So underneath the Seven of Wands where it is a sort of a card of challenge, but it's not challenges that you can't, can't overcome, it's the Emperor. Now the Emperor is a stable energy, so I feel that those challenges that you might be experiencing or difficulties or blocks or uh, problems or things in the way of the connection are going to be overcome with the Emperor card here. Because the Emperor is an energy that is above the Kings, it is a very wise energy, it is a very stable and solid energy. It's somebody that always has a strategy and a plan. So I feel like this connection is going to stabilise. It's definitely going to stabilise. So if it's like a crush or it's just started or, you know, you came into separation because there were a few challenges uh, or you're waiting on it or something like that, in the next few months, it will stabilise. It'll be in a much more secure uh, situation. It'll have a strong foundation. Um, you know, they might... You know, I feel like in many ways it could be in a committed, uh, much more committed situation than maybe what it's showing at the moment, definitely with the Emperor here. Now, you've also got the Knight of Wands, which shows me that there is, you know, underneath the Knight of Cups, you've got the Knight of Wands. So it just shows me that there is an awful lot of uh, attraction in it, a lot of uh, joy, because you can see with this person, she's really joyful playing this drum here. So I feel like it's going to be very fun. There's going to be a lot of fun times. There's going to be a lot of good times. There's going to be um, also action. I feel like there's going to be a lot of action. So, you know, I feel like at the moment maybe somebody possibly could be contemplating action, you know, with the Knight of Cups, contemplating coming forwards in a romantic way. But the Knight of Wands is somebody that just goes out and does it. They just, they just go for what they want, really. So I feel like this person in the next three months, is just going to go for what they want, and what they want is you, and they, you know, they see that, there's a long, there's a lot of, of attractions, so and not only are they very romantically connected towards you, but they feel a very strong physical attraction towards you, they feel a very strong um, link with you in that way, and they want, you know, they want to create a situation which is fun, which is exciting, where you have a good time, where you have a nice time together, um, but also with the view of making it stable and solid. So it's not just fun and good times. Because if the Knight of Wands was on their own, you didn't have the Emperor next to it, I'd be thinking, well, maybe this person just wants to, um, you know, just wants to have a good time, get what they want and then go again. But that's not the case because you have the Emperor here. And the Emperor shows me that there is a plan to this person. So in the next three months, there are plans, that, you know, they want to make it, solid they want to make it real you know they want to be in charge of the situation but equally they want it to be fun they want it to, you know they want you both to have a good time they want you both to uh, enjoy each other's company they want the situation to be joyful so that is what i think is going to happen now the five of wands again can talk about change uh, challenge taking risks so it might be a little bit of a risky situation um, in the, well, there might be some risks or some, like I say, some challenges in this situation. Now that may still be there in three months' time, but this is like a healthy competition kind of card, really. So I'm not too worried about that. I, don't, I feel there will be challenges, but there's challenges in every single relationship, isn't there? You know, whatever relationship we go into, there, there's challenges. So I feel like um, you know, there, this is a situation where in the next three months it might be a little bit challenging still. Um, there might be some. Um, yeah, some things, I'm just noticing these people, these, these two figures climbing up this. There might be some hurdles still that you need to overcome, some things that you need to climb, that kind of thing. But I feel like you will, you know, I feel like it'll be fine. I don't feel like it'll be difficult for you. I feel like it'll be okay. Um, but there will still, you know, it won't, you know, it, it will be settled, it will be stable, it will be fun and exciting. But there might still be a few things around that challenge it. Um... Like I say, like in any situation. So, um, you know, what do I mean by that? So say like, you know, you're in a situation, you're in a, a, a committed relationship or you're in a stable relationship or something like that. Um, but there will always be outside factors that may want to try and interfere in that relationship or may want to try and get in the way of that relationship. You know, like there might be little flirtations or there might be other things like work or other people that pull on your time 
that take it away from you and them. That's what I mean by that kind of sort of challenge. But because you've got the strength card, it tells me that there is already a strong foundation in the connection. So I think, and because you've got the Emperor card here, it's got a very strong, firm, solid foundation. So I feel like this is not going to cause you know too many issues, really. Now, the Judgment card is a card of rising up. So I feel like for some of you, this might be a change and transformation. So it's funny because I said this reminded me of the death card because the judgment is about a rising up. It's about a call to action, but it's also about a rising up, a levelling up. So I feel like this connection is going to level up. It's going to rise up. It's going to be better. It's going to be stronger because it comes right under the strength card here. But it may mean some sort of transformation that has to happen, some kind of... Um, Maybe there's a move, maybe it's, it's, it moves to the next level. I feel like this connection is going to move to the next level. Maybe from uh, something that's just beginning or a crush situation or a start of a relationship to the next level where it is a bit more committed. It's a bit, um, it's, it's risen up, it's become better really with the judgment card here. Um, and the overarching energy for that is the Four of Pentacles. Well, the Four of Pentacles is kind of like a holding energy, holding on energy. So I feel like this connection is something that you are both going to hold on to, that you're both going to want. Because if you look at this person, this woman, she is clinging on to that bag, but she looks very relaxed. She's got her eyes closed. So I feel like it's almost like she's holding it to her heart. So I feel like for me, uh, and the Four of Pentacles is about holding on energy, holding on to what you've got uh, and making sure you keep hold of it tightly. So I feel like this particular uh, connection in the next three months, if it's had some challenges or if it's having some challenges now or if it's not together now or if it's got some problems or some hurdles to overcome or whatever, it's got a very strong and solid foundation already and that is just going to grow. That's just going to grow and develop and become more stable. And you're both going to feel like you want to hold on to the situation that is important sort of for your heart to hold on to this connection, to keep it going, to make it stronger. Um, yeah, uh, certainly. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Um, I mean, maybe at the moment you do need to ask for a little bit of help or you do need to get some guidance. Maybe there's something around looking for some sort of internal guidance, maybe from your spirit team. So it might suggest that there's some sort of, um, you know, maybe, maybe some issues in it at the moment. But there isn't a lack of love. There isn't a shortage of love or feelings of love and romance and wanting to be with you romantically. And of course, your overall card is happiness you know, with the number six, which is all, again, you know, about restored peace, calm, harmony, cooperation, reconciliation, that kind of thing. So I feel like, you know, if that situation relates to you, then this situation is going to reconcile. It is going to reconcile, and it is going to rise up, and it is going to be better. Or, or it is going to be a move towards it being, you know, levelled up, more committed, um, definitely. And that will make you feel... I feel both of you will feel more relaxed, really, in the connection, or you will feel more um, loving in the connection, because this woman is really holding on to this bag, she's holding it against her heart. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm feeling. But in terms of astrological signs, Knight of Wands um, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Emperor is Aries. Five of Wands is... Um, Aqua uh, not Aquarius, sorry. The Five of Wands is uh, Leo energy. Um, yeah, and the Four of Pentacles is uh, Capricorn energy. So let's see if we can have some of these cards. So we will part number two and then person B in three months' time. Will they be in three months' time? You are awesome. It just says you are awesome. So, you know, maybe it's going to be that you are both in going to be in a really great place in three months' time. It says you are awesome. What do we have here? Find your tribe. Find your tribe. I mean, that might be the uh, go with the ask for help there. So it may be that in this period as well, it's about connecting to other people too. Uh, connecting to friends, connecting to family, or connecting to people that make you feel good. And in a way, that might have a positive impact on the connection in some way. Where will they be in three months' time, please? Where will they be in three months' time? It's time to stop 
procrastinating. Now that would go with the three of wands here. Stop to stop procrastinating. Uh, maybe there needs to be time for action because you do have two knights. What's underneath there? The chariot. Yeah, you see the chariot. I, I was nudged, that nudged, and I wanted to look underneath the chariot at the time of moving forward. So maybe this is a period where this, maybe this connection is in separation or it's waiting something. It's, it's waiting unnecessarily. There's an unnecessary wait for action. The, the chariot is about moving forward with purpose uh, in a very focused way towards your goal. And that would go with it's time to stop procrastinating. So there you go, part number two. That's been your evening. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, part number three, and welcome to this pick a card reading of you know you and them, you and your romantic partner. Three months from now, where will we be? So you chose to come into this reading under this beautiful card, which says tranquility. And it is the violet flower, and it's card number 43, which cancels down to seven. So gorgeous, such a lovely card. Um, okay, and also the lapis lazuli, or the lapis lazuli, how you want to pronounce it. Um, and I've also got some uh, oracle cards here. Just want to say a big thank you for subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, commenting, all of that means such a lot. Thank you so much for doing it. And if you feel you want to do it at the end of the reading, it just takes a couple of seconds, but it means a lot to the channel. So please do. But anyway, let's have a look here. So we've got, oh, card number 25. Now that's interesting because that 25 also cancels down to seven. And it says study to know yourself. So we've got two sevens. So sevens is all about introspection, you know, soul searching, soul development. It can be a card, um, because often those sorts of things we tend to do alone, don't we, or in solitude. So it might be that this connection is with the tranquility as well, which is a very calm, you know, calm um, situation. But it might be that it's in that you know you're not together. Um, it could be like that. It could be that for some of you that you're you know on your own. There's an aloneness to it at the moment. But anyway. Um, 14, card number 14, which is Grace. Um, so there's a lot of peace to these, these cards. There's a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of relaxation, a lot of feeling at peace. So maybe in three months' time, this connection is going to feel very peaceful. It's going to feel very calm. It's going to feel very tranquil. It's going to feel, um, you know, there's not, you're going to be, you're going to be, wherever it is, you're going to be comfortable in that situation you know wherever wherever it is and we'll find that out in a minute this is kunzite this is a crystal called kunzite and it says love the key words are love femininity and transition as it breaks down barriers surrounding the heart kunzite offers unconditional love to heal lingering wounds yeah it might go but you know this situation might be going through healing in the next three months or there may be some healing in this situation um, okay, so Kunzite helps you to feel safe while being vulnerable, allowing you to express your love authentically and expansively. Okay. Okay, all right. So it also relates to Taurus, Leo and Scorpio, so that might mean something to some of you. It's gorgeous colour, isn't it? Lovely pink, a very heart-centred colour. So I feel like in the next three months, it's definitely going to get to a, a very tranquil space. This connection is going to be very um, peaceful. There might be a lot of learning, a lot of healing, because this person is reading a book, study to know yourself. So maybe there's a lot of reflection going to be going on. Um, but in the background of this card, there's always these two little peacocks that I see together looking at each other. Um, so let's see how that plays out. And again, like I say, sevens come up twice, which is all about contemplation, soul searching, solitude and wisdom. And funny enough, seven goes into 14, doesn't it? Um, which is grace. But one and four is five, and fives are about change. So it might be going for a change, a transition, something like that, this connection. Um, it might be going for some changes and challenges now, or some upheaval, or some something like that. But anyway, uh, let's see. Let's ask, actually. So what, where, first of all, let's just see where you're at at the moment. And uh, then you can check if it's the right pile. So what is the current energy of 
pile at number three and their person right now, please. Where's the current energy? A pile at number three and their person right now. So we have the sun. Okay. We have the king of pentacles. We have the knight of pentacles. Where are they right now, please? So it could be that you're just in a very tranquil place now because these are very positive cards. You know, you're in a loving space now. The Wheel of Fortune, okay, and the overarching energy is the Two of Wands. So, right, so the overarching energy is the Two of Wands, which clearly shows two roads, yeah, two roads. So there might be at the moment the situation is at a little bit of a crossroads for some of you. Yeah, well, there's two choices here that need to be made. That's often the Two of Wands where you're having to weigh things up. Um... So maybe it could be that it's um, in separation at the moment with all these kind of cards of solitude. And it's about whether you stay in the situation or not, whether you remain in the situation. Uh, or whether you come back to it, whether you reconcile, some, something like that. It could be for some of you that. Or you're being fake. There's, there's two choices maybe that need to be made in the connection. Or there's two options or there's things that need to be weighed up. But certainly it is... Um, it does feel like it's a strong connection. You might actually be in a settled connection with this person, but you're questioning it because you've got the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, and that is all about stability and security. So you're in a stable, secure connection with that, and with the Knight of Pentacles, you're in a stable, secure connection. Um, it's a happy connection because you've got the sun here. It's a happy connection. It feels like a warm connection. Um, you know, it feels like a good connection or it's got the potential for all these things. That might be what as well, what, well, we've got these cards. You know, it could be that you are in a situation like that or it's got the potential to provide that, to provide stability, to provide security, to provide happiness. It can be, yeah, a stable situation. It can be a loving, sunny situation. But maybe at the moment it's still... Um, you know, it's got the potential of that, but maybe at the moment it is a bit unpredictable with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's a little bit up and down, or it's a little bit, it goes in cycles or something like that. So maybe that's the case for some of you where it's got all of this potential, but sometimes for whatever reason it goes in cycles and maybe sometimes you're separate from each other and sometimes you are together. And that might be why you've got the two of wands where you are sort of weighing up really about whether to stay in this connection or not, even though it's got all this potential. Maybe it's not actually something that is happening in the connection right now. That could also be how you read this. Or you're in a stable, committed situation. It's a happy situation. But maybe with the Wheel of Fortune here, I don't know, maybe there's something that's cool. You feel like it's calling you to do something else, something more. Maybe there's some sort of um, spiritual, something spiritual that's calling you and you may be questioning the connection, questioning whether there's something more you want something more out of the connection or you want something more out of the relationship or something like that um because the wheel of fortune can be like a fated uh, card it can be a card of fate as well as unpredictability so maybe there's a with all these cards of spirituality you know somebody is feeling like they're being called to 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 kind of question the connection it might have something to do with needing to be on your own a bit or needing a bit of solitude or something like that uh, needing to spiritually evolve and develop. Uh, maybe the connection is too grounded or too down to earth or too, uh, with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles or sort of too, too sort of every day, really, and you want something a bit more from it. Maybe you want a bit more excitement because that can also be the Wheel of Fortune. So those are just some of the things that might be going on for some of you. Now, none of that sounds right for you. You might want to listen to another pile. So, but there's definitely the overarching energy of the Two of Wands where somebody is facing a crossroads. Somebody is at a crossroads and they're not sure which road to take. Um, and that might be why you've got the study to know yourself because there's a lot of contemplation going on at the moment. Um, you know, a lot of working out, if it, if it, uh, something like that. But in terms of astrological signs, I mean, the sun is Aries. King of Pentacles is usually Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, and the two of wands is Aries again. Okay, so let's see, let's ask, um, you know, what is going to, where are you going to be, where is pile number three and their person going to be in three months' time? 
Where is pile number three in the person going to be in three months' time? Where are they going to be, please? Oh, we have the Wheel of Fortune again. Again. Um, and we have the Tower. Where is pile number three in the person going to be in three months' time? The Five of Cups. And seven of wands, okay. And the overarching energy is the strength. I feel like there is a change coming in this uh, connection, for sure. And it's got something to the wheel of fortune is about, you know, things going up in life and things going down. It's like the turn of the wheel. So I can't help feeling that this connection is, is on the road towards change in some way. Um, because we've also got the tower card here. And I feel it's got something to do with needing, um, maybe you or them needing space or needing peace. Um, so it might be, um, and I, I sort of do feel that there may be a move away from the connection in the next three months. And that that move away from the connection is going to offer tranquility, it's going to offer peace. It's going to offer you space to, you and them maybe, space to discover yourself, to get to know yourself, to, uh, yes, yeah, do some sort of spiritual work or healing or something like that. And I think at the moment there's a choice that is, you know, you're, you're at a crossroads in terms of whether you stay in the relationship or whether you leave the relationship. And I feel like, um, if I'm honest, this situation, you know, the wheel of fate is turning, and I, but I don't see it. Um, and this may sound crazy to say, but I don't see it as being detrimental for you, pile number three. I see it as being um, a good thing for you, a time for healing, a time for um, getting to know yourself. I know this says study to know yourself, but it's about getting to know yourself. And I think coming out of the situation or out of the relationship is going to allow you uh, to do that. Now, it might be difficult with the tower cut. It might be unexpected. So you might be sitting here thinking, there's no way that's going to happen between me and my person but this the tower card can come out of nowhere it is a card of sudden change usually change for the better even though the process might be quite painful so it might be that you know it also comes right under the king of pentacles which is if you're in a settled situation or a stable situation but for what you know for, for as i said before there might be something that you are questioning that the situation is lacking or the connection is lacking and it might be something around a deeper more spiritual um connection something like that um it feels to me like something because a tower card happens when something which you think is built on firm foundations actually isn't and it needs to be completely dismantled in order for you to um build up a more authentic situation for yourself and I feel like that's what's happening here you know the wheel is turning but it's turning ironically even though it's come right next to the tower it's turning in your favor it's for the, the better for you it's for the good for you because clearly in this wheel of fortune we can see her at the top of the wheel and she's got the, the dice around her neck both on six or well, six is the lucky number so it makes me feel like this turn in this situation this transition in this situation this change in this situation is actually going to be for the better it will make you feel better in the long run and the other thing as well is that you know for some of you even though like i said there's a you know potentially this situation could be committed it could be uh, stable it's not you know because you've got the wheel of fortune twice and which might be that there's a lot of unpredictability to it there's a lot of ups and downs to it there's a lot of backwards and forwards to it there's a lot of cycles to it and that can make you feel very, very anxious or stressed. And I feel like all these cards, there's a strong emphasis on tranquility and healing and being um, being at peace. So I feel like because you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming up twice, maybe that's though, that situation where there's constant cycles and change and upheaval and maybe the promise of um, stability and security, but it never actually materialising, you know, the end of that... Uh, as difficult as it might be, as, as kind of painful or as hard as it might be, it's actually going to be better for you. Because if you look at this card, the Seven of Wands, 
which is still a kind of challenge, but look at this woman, she's just so relaxed, and it goes with all of these cards here. So these challenges, once you've gone through this process of changing this situation, of this situation maybe coming to an end, of this transition, um, of maybe breaking away from this connection, you will feel much, much better. You will feel more relaxed, you will feel more calm, you will feel a place, I mean, this woman is meditating here, um, on her cushion, almost sort of elevated on her cushion. And all these wands have got no chance of getting anywhere near her. And she knows that. So there might still be issues or problems or whatever around her, but she's got she's in a much stronger place to deal with them. So, you know, because you've got the overarching energy of strength, the strength card, which again is about overcoming challenges in a gentle way. So I think for me, for this, where you're going to be in this connection is that this connection, you know, any difficulties, challenges, problems will have been overcome in the next three months. You will have moved beyond them. Um, and I feel that the connection in some way will have been let go of, will have been released in order for you, you know, you will make a choice to go down a road, uh, a certain road, uh, which is going to be better for you in the long run. And I think in these cards, it, it means that the connection will be released so that you can have, um, you can give yourself more time, that you can heal yourself, you can be a better person for yourself, you can feel grace, you can feel tranquility, you know, you can, um, yeah, you can, yeah, because this key words of this concite was transition, you know, break, and, and, and that will allow you to connect more to your heart, because, you know, maybe this connection uh, has been difficult or painful for some of you or problematic especially if the wheel of fortune has come up twice but it's, for some of you maybe been unpredictable there's been a lot of cycles to it you couldn't really rely on it and even though there might have been promises of commitment or promises of stability or potential for that it just kind of hasn't materialized so i feel like the connection in the next three months will go through, you know will will there will be some heartache here with the five of cups here there will be a sense of loss um, but it will be for the greater good, and the greater good is for your uh, health, your well-being, your sense of peace, your sense of calm. Um, you know, that, that's kind of honestly what I'm sort of feeling here, part number three. And you will, you know, look at you, you will be this strong, amazingly strong uh, person, somebody who's able to heal themselves, able to feel strong in themselves, has both the gentleness of the lamb and the strength of the lion. So it makes me feel that you'll be very balanced in the next, by the end of the three months when you go through this transition period. There'll be a balance to you um, and you'll be completely relaxed because, again, this pose is incredibly relaxed here. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm seeing now in terms of astrological signs. I mean, again, um, the Five of Cups, that is uh, Scorpio energy. Seven of Wands is uh, uh, Leo energy. And again, we've got Leo. And of course, Leo is very much, you know, a character that I feel like you'll regain your confidence because Leo is a very confident uh, sign. It's a very um, sunny, happy sign. So I don't, you know, apart from maybe initial feelings of loss and upset, obviously, but I don't feel that will stay with you for very long. And I feel you will move forward in a much more... Um, you know, you'll be, you'll, you'll heal, you'll heal quite quickly because it's showing up in three months here. You'll heal, you'll, you'll, um, maybe you'll realise, you'll learn a lot from this connection or you're already maybe realising a lot about this connection. Maybe it's bringing up, you know, you're making, you're becoming more self-aware already. I feel like you might already be on a healing journey, you might already have started that. So the healing process will be quite quick for you and you will move into a more balanced uh, state, power number three. But let's see what else we've got. You know, where will part number three in person be? In three months' time. Where will that be in three months' time? Embrace your sensitivity. Embrace your sensitivity. So that's also about sort of like maybe, um, yeah, allowing, yeah, sort of like opening up your heart or getting more heart-centred or more. And I feel like this healing process is going to allow you to become more heart-centred or open up your heart more. Maybe you had to... If the, you know, the Wheel of Fortune went twice and it was, you know, was a, a period of cycles or maybe letdowns or coming together and 
pulling apart, coming together, pulling apart, that that sort of like takes its toll, doesn't it? And I feel like embrace your sensitivity is about, you know, you can trust you can trust your heart again, you can you can open up your heart again by the end of the three months, really. Um, what else? Adventure awaits. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like this, you know, this situation is going to lead to a whole brand new cycle for you, a brand new life for you, where you're just going to, yeah, you're going to be strong, you're going to be healed, you're going to be happy, relaxed, and you're going to be looking forward to the next chapter. What else? Part on three, where this situation is being part three. I think I've got two here, whatever they are, that is tell the truth, tell the truth, and then you've got believe with the unicorn here, tell the truth and believe. Okay, so poll number three, that has been your reading, I hope you've liked it, if you have, please do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload, otherwise I'll see you in the next reading, bye for now.